Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a GATE 2024 EC question in which we have to find the transconductance at new operating point. So the question is, an NMOS transistor operating in the linear region has IDS the drain current of 5 microampere, okay, drain current of 5 microampere and at VDS 0.1 volt by keeping VGS constant, by keeping VGS constant, then the VDS is increased to 1.5 volt and the given thing is mu n COX W by L 50 microampere per volt square. So we have to find the value of transconductance at that new operating point at VDS 1.5 volt. So this one is the question. So how to attempt this question? So if such type of question is there, so first thing that we have to do, we have to draw the ID VDS curve. So first we have to do the ID VDS curve. Why I am doing? See, this one is ID and VDS curve and the characteristics is somehow like this. A high pass filter response. Okay, it should be like this. Okay. So now here I am just marking one point that is our VGS minus VT. So Above this line, it is in the saturation, saturation, okay, and in between, it is in the linear, linear region, okay. Why I am saying, it will discuss later, but this structure or graph, we have to know. So, it is clearly given the IDS, okay. So, I am writing, the given thing is that IDS value in the linear region so in i'm writing in the linear region is 5 micro ampere for the drain to source voltage 0 0.1 volt but vgs is not there okay and other parameter mu n cox w by l is given 50 micro ampere per volt square okay so now what we have to do first we have to write the drain current equation IDS in linear region expression so that equation we have to know mu and COX W by L in bracket VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square by 2 this is the well known formula for the drain current in the linear region expression so now this IDS value is given so I am writing here 5 micro ampere and this value mu and cox w by l is 50 micro ampere per volt square so i am writing the full unit this value is not given so make it as it is vgs minus vt and vds is given 0 0.1 minus here 0 0.1 whole square by 2 in the next line we will solve this one so what we can observe this microampere microampere will be cancelled then 5 by 50 means 1 by 10 so one can write this as a 0 0.1 volt square okay 0 0.1 volt square then it should be vgs minus vt into 0 0.1 and if we calculate this one 0 0.1 whole square by 2 it will come nearly 0 0.005 okay after solving this it will come like and this is all in the whole voltage square if you think about the unit unit of this one it should be like volt square okay so now what we have to do this one is the thing so now we have to solve this one so what we can write 0 0.1 then we have to put it in the right hand side so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.0 0 0.5 and the unit is volt square we can write or you can also eliminate this thing but why i am writing to make it easy then vgs minus vt into 0 0.1 okay this one is also in the volt square so the vgs minus vt value will be the sum of this 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 0 0.5 okay after adding this by 0 0.1 okay now this one is volt volt square so it should be volt square by volt okay 
so it should be unit will be volt okay now because this one is volt volt so it should be volt okay so the after solving this vgs minus vt will come 1.05 volt okay so this one is the very important result that we get the value of vgs minus vt okay we get the value of vgs minus vt then after what we have to do now the concept will come okay now here what we observe that in the question it is given this one we have calculated for vds equals to 0.1 volt so it is somehow like this in between and it is it is in the linear region okay now we have to do the calculation for the transconductance for the value of 1.5 volt it is clearly here vds is increased to 1.5 volt so what we have to do so 1.5 volt so now this one is the old vds and the new vds is 1.5 volt and the vgs value now here we can see the vgs value vgs value vgs minus vt okay i am i have to select pencil okay vgs minus vt is less than vds okay so the for the saturation region the condition is vds should be greater than equals to vgs minus vt so now for this vd this was the device in the saturation region for vds 1.5 and vgs minus vt is around 1.05 so this value is greater the device will be operated in the saturation region okay here the vds is less than equals to vgs minus vt okay this was is 0.1 okay so this one is a linear region now the device for vds 1.5 volt the n mos is in saturation region okay from this graph we can observe that somehow it will come like 1.5 volt here or so it is in the saturation region so now we have to write the drain current equation in the saturation region so this one is very important that we have to observe that vds value is greater than vgs minus vt if vds is less than vgs minus vt so it should be in the linear so now the device is in the saturation region so now we have to write the drain current equation that is our ids in the saturation region so its value will be mu n cox w by l pi 2 into vgs minus vt whole square okay so this one is the equation in the saturation region for vds greater than equals to vgs minus vt this one is the condition okay vds is now greater than vgs minus vt because we, our vgs minus vt is 1.04 so now we have to find the transconductance gm so what i am doing del id by del vgs we have to do the differentiation del id by del vgs so its value will be mu n cox w by l make it 2 here okay and after differentiating it should be 2 vgs minus vt okay and vgs is 1 so coefficient 1 so it should be 1 so this 2 to cancel out so the value will be mu n cox w by l into vgs minus vt so now what we have to do we have to put the value mu n cox w by l value is given 50 micro ampere per volt i so i am writing full unit and vgs minus vt is 1.05 volt okay so this volt volt cancel so if we multiply 50 into 1.05 our answer will be come micro ampere by volt so if we multiply 50 into 1.05 the value will be 52.5 micro ampere per volt so this one is the transconductance for the new operating point okay so this is the way to solve this question
so it is very important that we have to observe in which for vds 1.5 volt in which region the mos is operating so after writing the saturation current equation we have to find the trans conductance so we have to write this value and after solving so we are just putting unit for this purpose okay for cancelling so it should become like this okay 52.5 microampere per volt so in the question also they are asking what is the value of trans conductance at new operating point so the answer will be 50 i am writing here 52.5 and it should be in microampere per volt it is given so no need to write or you can also write here okay so this is all about this question so thank you for watching this video so the major thing is that you have to know this concept and we have to know at which region the nmos operates before vgs minus vt it is in linear after vgs minus vt it should be in saturation so this one is also important fact so that's why first we have to draw this circuit okay so thank you for watching this video